The Dog Risk Study is an independent university-based research program that studies how genetic, environmental, and nutritional factors influence the development of diseases in dogs. It covers all types of dog food, including raw. The principal researcher is Dr. Anna Helm Bjorkman at the University of Helsinki's College of Veterinary Medicine. She's put together a high power team of researchers, most of whom already have their PhD or their DVM, or many of them have both. She also has the help of vet student researchers for this project. At this point, the study is over five years old and includes over 12,000 households, many of whom have more than one dog. This is an epidemiologic study, much like some very famous um, similar studies in human medicine. Those studies gave us critical information for the first time about the prevalence and problems associated with smoking, eating habits, obesity, diabetes, breast cancer, and heart disease. Epidemiologic studies attempt to determine what factors are associated with diseases, those are called risk factors, and what factors may protect people or animals against the disease, which are called protective factors. The dog risk study gathers detailed information on the dog's age, sex, breed, lifestyle, and medical history, along with the type of diet being fed. That is dry kibble, canned, raw, home cooked, the amount of vegetables, fruits, or bones, and about anything else you can think of. They've found that the early environment in which puppies are raised influences the likelihood of developing health issues later. Interestingly, it looks as if dogs fed raw as puppies or whose mothers were fed raw are showing a decreased risk of developing environmental allergies, otitis, hip arthritis, and even cancer. In fact, as little as 20% raw included in the dog's meals seems to have some benefits for dogs with environmental allergies. This research is also helping disprove raw myths. For example, vets have long told pet owners that raw food can cause kidney disease, but this research is showing that the blood work of normal dogs eating raw and dry diets are simply different, but still normal for each type of diet. In other words, eating a raw diet did not have negative effects on the blood work of these dogs. I've been in general practice for over 20 years and following that in specialty practice as a board certified veterinary nutritionist for over 10 years. I found early in my career that fresh foods like raw can lead to some pretty dramatic health improvements in both dogs and cats. Veterinarians are generally cautious when it comes to making recommendations for their patients. Anything new really needs to come with scientific proof. This study is important because we're seeing scientific support for something many of us already believe, that feeding raw has unique health benefits, both for prevention and for treatment of health problems.